Hello, good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here, and today we have the brand new Tier 6 Premium Italian Destroyer, the Leone. So, this ship has been in development almost as long as I have been doing YouTube, a little, a little history on, the, on, on, uh, on her before we get started. So, um... Yeah, this ship went through a lot. At one point it had sap. At one point it had worse shell arcs than what it has now, which is saying a lot. I mean, we were talking, these things were orbital. You needed to take the Coriolis effect into account when aiming with this ship back with those old shell arcs. Uh, it had sap at some point. It, I believe at one point it had the uh, exhaust fuel smoke as well. But, yeah, this ship has gone through quite the development cycle to get where she is today, which isn't too, too far off from where she started. So, yeah. So, we're going to see today if this ship is worth the wait, and if it, she's worth picking up. And we're going ahead right now, take a look at her. Um, no captain skills have been applied, but there are modules on, but, I mean, it's a tier 6 ship, so there's not too many modules on. But, um, you'll see what she's like here. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at her armor. So, yeah, it's a tier 6 DD, 16mm everywhere with a 10mm superstructure. Turrets are coated with 6mm, so, yeah, you got that. Her survivability, she has 13,700 hit points, and this is without... Um, survivability expert equipped her guns she has eight 120 millimeter guns with a 9.5 second reload time base and a 180 time of 22.5 seconds on these turrets maximum dispersion of 98 meters this is with the aiming module applied without it it's 105 meters and her HE shells do a maximum damage of 1,700 per shell, with a 7% chance of starting a fire, with 20 millimeters of pen. Her AP shell does 2,100 damage max, with, of course, Citadel hits. And her maximum range is 12.1 kilometers. And her HE and AP shells both share a maximum velocity of 850 meters a second. Her torpedoes are pretty nice. You get four of them. <laughs> They reload in 60 seconds, however, and the torpedo tubes have a 180 time of 6 seconds. And the torpedoes do a maximum damage of 13,367 per torp. And they have a range of 12 kilometers, and they are detectable by 1 kilometer. And they have a speed of 51 knots. Her AA, uh, she has 6 guns. <laughs> she has... Uh, she has... Twin mounted 13.2 millimeter guns, and then she has some single 40 millimeter guns, literally two 40 millimeter guns. And uh, yeah, that's it for an A rating of seven, which is one more than the amount of guns that she has. Her main battery guns are unfortunately not dual purpose. All right, maneuverability she has a top speed of 35.7 knots with a speed flag applied. A turning circle radius of 620 meters and a rudder shift time of 2.7 seconds with the rudder module applied. Concealment, she has 7 kilometer base concealment and a 3 kilometer concealment by air. And for her equipment, she gets a standard smoke generator, 2, which isn't a lot. But yes, normal smoke generator, she doesn't get the fuel smoke or anything like that. It is active for 34.5 seconds, has a rate, has a dispersion time of 118 seconds, has a radius of 0.45 kilometers, and reloads in 152 seconds. You get three engine boost consumables, which boost your max speed by 8%, and it is active for 120 seconds, and reloads in 114 seconds. And this is the module build I have on her right now. I did play this ship on stream last night, by the way. That's why I have some games in her and why I have her modules applied. And I do have a captain for her, but not this guy. Uh, so I have main armaments mod 1. I have engine room. 
protection because uh Didi's engine room seems to be really 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 frail recently for some reason I don't know if it's just something that changed with the commander rework or something but my engine is getting knocked out a lot a lot more recently MA systems mod one and then steering gears mod one as well so her commander let me just uh, call him back re uh, real quick hello Sebastiano so I went with preventive maintenance Power Technician, Last Stand, Adrenaline Rush, Main Battery and AA Specialist, and Main Battery and AA Expert. I know this is probably not going to please a lot of people, but I want to try out her guns. Uh, I heard that she had good alpha on her guns, which she does have. So I'll talk to you guys more about that in a moment. Anyway, so this is the build that I ran on her. And of course, I'm going to play a couple more games real quick probably about four four or so more and uh i'll see you guys in the voiceover all right guys the leon how is she well for a ship that entered production when i don't think i even had a thousand subscribers on the channel this has been a very hotly anticipated and desired ship was going to be the first italian destroyer in the game but the uh the paul emilio beat him to the punch there so yeah, so after playing it on stream and a little bit more for this review, I gotta be honest, it's pretty meh to okay. You know, at best, in the best situations, this ship is okay. For me at least. And I'm not an amazing destroyer player. I'm mostly a gunboat destroyer player. And that's why I built the ship as a gunboat, so I'd be the most comfortable with this ship. And as a gunboat, the ship can perform quite well. It's great. It is great at farming battleships at tier six. With those shell arcs, you can sit hit behind uh, sit, sit behind an island, let the shells fly, even with your low DPM, with the good alpha and the pretty decent fire fire chance, a seven percent fire fire chance, full flags and all, on this ship at tier six. That's pretty good. It's great for farming battleships. And even with a 14.5 kilometer range that I have on it with all my captain skills applied, yeah, the shells take some time to get there, but they do get there. And if you know where to aim, like the superstructure or the parts of the ship that you can pin, they work. They work really, really, really well. So she's okay for that. However, against like 90% of the destroyers that you'll come across, if you don't have impeccable aim, you will lose the gunfight just because of your DPM. You know, unless you run across something like an Asashio that can't aim, or maybe I think like one or two of the Pan Asian DDs you can see at this tier, you're going to get outgunned fast. It's it's definitely not an anti DD DD unless you have again impeccable aim. Then maybe you can out alpha them. Other than that, hmm. Now the torpedoes, the torpedoes are quite good. The only issue is you only get four of them. They do have a 12 kilometer range and decent damage. So again, if there's like battleships around, like especially if you're top tier in this thing, just throw a couple their way. You're almost guaranteed to hit them because most battleship players at this tier love to sell in straight lines. Plus it has a 60 second reload time. So once adrenaline rush starts to kick in, you can really just start vomiting out torpedoes in the ship. So it does have that going for it. You know, you can definitely build into the torpedoes in the ship and do well with the torpedoes. And from my experience, do well with the guns too. Now, is it an amazing gun boat? No, of course not. But it can work. If you can make it work, it, it'll work quite well. And again, well, not amazing, not terrible, just, just well. That's why I say it's kind of meh. I mean... It guns, it torps, you only get two smokes with it, um, base at least. You can, of course, get, th get that up to three with the uh, superintendent skill, which I don't have yet on this ship. And the turret rotation time is really slow too, but you can kind of remedy that with the MLG turret skill, which I don't have yet on this commander. So, you know, it can be a little bit better from what I've experienced and just knowing that it can improve some of those stats that kind of hurt when you play it you know that knowledge I feel okay saying that this ship is okay 
Is it worth you dropping 20 bucks on right now? Uh, no, 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 no. It's not. It's not. It is definitely not worth $20. There's, there are a lot of better options at tier 6 for you to spend 20 bucks on destroyer-wise than the Leon. I, I don't recommend you, buy, you go out and buy the ship. Don't go out of your way to buy it. If you were waiting for it to come out, waiting to see if it's an okay ship, it's an okay ship. But it's not a buy it now ship. If you get this thing in a container at Christmas or in the next black event or the next container event, congratulations, you got an okay destroyer. Nothing great, nothing terrible. I'm sure people are saying it's like utter garbage. It's not utter utter garbage. I mean, I managed to average I think around 65, 70,000 damage in it in the games that I played. And I'm a terrible destroyer player, uh, except for gunboats. But I, I did play like a gunboat. And, you know, in a tier 6 ship, that's pretty good. 60, 70,000 damage at tier 6. Yeah. Now, this thing does utterly just collapse in on itself when you get up tiered, though. That's when you really have to rely on those torpedoes and that 12 kilometer range and just start vomiting out torpedoes at, hi at uh, high tier ships. Now, if you can get into a good position with a smoke screen where you're not detected by a radar ship or behind an island, you can get a good little farm going on with your with your gun arcs. Um, again, that the gun arcs, they're a blessing and a curse. You can sit behind islands, just like the American cruisers, and throw some shells at the enemy ships and start some fires. But at, at tier 8, like, you can only pin the superstructure on battleships. Um, so, yeah, you better hope it's something with a lot of superstructure, like an Amagi or, or an FDG. And not something like an Izumo with just barely any superstructure and, like, just FU deck armor. So, yeah. But, again, the torpedoes can definitely, definitely reach well beyond your detection range and bring you some relief there at higher tier. Um, but other than that, the lack of AA... Again, if you're in a game with a tier 8 CV, just find an AA buddy, or you're dead. <laughs> I mean, there's there's not much more about it. Mario and Luigi on the turrets, on the AA guns, they, they, they can't do much to save you. Um, so, yeah, at tier 6, it's okay. At tier 7, it's kind of meh. At tier 8, it's just pain a lot of times. I, I, again, I had some fun with it on stream. And again, it's only 20 bucks, so... It's, it's not a huge deal, you know, it's not a tier 8 ship or a tier 9 ship that costs a pretty penny, but again, it's $20 that can be well spent somewhere else rather than with this ship. So, my recommendation to you guys with the Leon, I don't recommend going out and get it. Wait to get it in a container randomly, who knows, at Christmas time, the next event or whatever. If you get it in a container, great, get a nice little boat, but... Nothing that's worth spending your money on. Again, unless you're just really interested in, in the ship. Other than that, I'd say this is a safe ship to pass on. And if you don't get it, you're not missing out on too much. If you like the shell arcs, go play American Cruises or American Destroyers. If you like the fast reloading torps, or the torps in general, go play the Japanese torpedo boats. Or even the, um, the British DD line. Other than that, you're not missing much here. Alright guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We're on our way now to 25,000 subscribers. We are very close to pa passing 23, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to catch you guys on the next one.